The government has supported development of advanced model for smart hospitals as part of 2020 Digital New Deal initiatives, seeking to bring digital transformation to hospitals and enhance patient and staff experiences. In 2020, during COVID-19 pandemic, tele-ICUs, smart infection control, and hospital resource management were selected as part of responses to infectious disease. We will follow how the Advanced Smart Hospital Model 2020 works for general patients versus COVID-19 patients. Patients visiting the hospital fill out COVID-19 questionnaire on their mobile phone and download the entry QR code. Patients can then enter through the speed gate without needing to prepare documents or register at the kiosk. Quarantine Robot will detect people not wearing masks or densely gathered on hospital premise and will advise them on social distancing and the use of mask. The robot is equipped with hand sanitizers and UV sterilization feature, which help to support the hospital's disease prevention system. AI-based robot DS1 delivers medical supplies safely and quickly from pharmacy to injection rooms reducing interruptions to care and cutting down on simple repetitive work, enabling patient-centered care by alleviating fatigue of the clinical staff. Also, the use of finger vein technology supports error-free delivery of medication. Real-time location system is used to identify unoccupied equipment for use across heavily equipped operating theaters, which makes resource management more efficient. Voice recognition technology was applied to operative records, which used to rely on manual recording, thereby reducing time and improving convenience. During night times, Quarantine Robot UV sterilizes facilities that can transmit the virus, i.e. outpatient kiosk, information desk, and handrails for fall prevention. Based on COVID-19 patients' age, body temperature, underlying diseases, etc., AI algorithm triages the patient and proposes appropriate treatment facilities, supporting medical team's decision-making and reducing their work burden. Bluetooth thermometer is used to check temperatures of COVID-19 patients under quarantine while wearable ring monitors pulse and electrocardiogram. Biosignals can be continuously monitored from the nurse's station and other places. Mildly symptomatic patients at the residential treatment center receive real-time body temperature checks and mental care for anxiety and depression. Furthermore, high-quality medical services are provided through online consultation in cooperation with physicians in other hospitals. COVID-19 patients with severe symptoms receive intensive treatment in the ICU and EICU Command Center monitors essential information, i.e. biosignals real-time. Contact-free online consultation system is used by medical personnel to share patient information real-time, which helps to support decision-making on treatment. Integrated EICU Command Center will support ICU management and contact-free consultations between regional and metropolitan-based hospitals to narrow the gap in quality of care across hospitals and overcome shortage of medical personnel in the ICUs. The government will develop such advanced models, selecting three areas each year and 18 in total by 2025, and will expand the models to other medical institutions. 
Digital New Deal, project for development of advanced model for smart hospitals. We aim to continue digital innovation in the field of medical services by bringing visible outcomes that can truly be felt by patients and the medical teams. We look forward to safer treatment for patients, greater patient focus by the medical teams, and a far more efficient hospitals.